alhamdulillah nahmaduhu ta'ala wa nasta'inu wa nastaghfiruh wa na'udhu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyiati a'malina man yahdi Allah huwa muhtad wa man yudlil fala hadiya lah wa ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam amma ba'd ayyu al habba as we are all aware of our dhunub wal ma'asi our sins and wicked doings and we seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from our evil souls from our evil deeds and the consequences of our evil deeds ayyul habba ask yourself what excuse do you have for not coming back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and i ask myself what excuse i have for not coming back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ghafurur rahim ghafurur wadud he's the all forgiving he's the most merciful and he is the all loving subhanahu wa ta'ala ayyul habba if we don't come back to allah then perhaps our ending will be like the fujjar the wicked evil sinners and those people who disbelieved in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those people who committed shirk billah subhanahu wa ta'ala the associated partners with allah tabarak wa ta'ala the lord of the heavens and earth and i don't think any of us wants or can even actualize within ourselves the horrid punishment that await those people who disobeyed allah subhanahu wa ta'ala those people who persisted in sinfulness and wickedness and when we reflect on what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us out of his infinite grace and mercy and favor another day to make toba another day to have our limbs another day to still have some provisions another day to pursue the various pursuits that we pursue in our daily lives and all of that are from the many blessings of Allah azza wa jal that we have to reflect upon but we get so caught up in this dunya and so distracted from the akhira that we fail to realize what our purpose is and our own shortcomings we ask why did this happen to us why did that happen to us but when we look at our own sins and the state of our souls and our deeds there should be no question why the things happen to us that happen to us and if great imams of the salaf like the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in like Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu ta'ala and who were worried about hypocrisy and being considered a hypocrite and believing within their hearts that they were hypocrites and they were the best of this nation they did the best of deeds and they were the companions of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam they lived with the prophet alayhi salatu wa salam they witnessed revelation being revealed they traveled and ate with the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they fought with him alongside of him alayhi salatu wasalam who are we uh, ayyu al habba what have we done for our souls what have we done for islam 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, fi kitabi al-kareem, about the fujjar, the wicked saint, sinners, qal, wa inna al-fujjar la fi jaheem, yaslawnaha yawm al-deen, wa ma hum anha bi ghaibeen, wa ma adraka ma yawm al-deen, thumma ma adraka ma yawm al-deen, يوم لا تملك نفس لنفس شيئا والأمر يوم إذ لله. Allah subhanahu wa taala says في كتاب الكريم. And verily, al fujjar the wicked disbelievers, polytheists, sinners, and evildoers, all of those people are categorized as fujjar. وعياذ بالله من ذلك. Verily, the Al-Fujjar will be in the blazing fire of hell. Therein they will enter and taste its burning flame on the day of recompense. And they will not be absent therefrom. So no one who has done wicked deeds like this, those things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates, will be absent from this day. There's no way that they can miss this appointed meeting. And what will make you know what the day of recompense is? Again, what will make you know what the day of recompense is? It will be the day when no person shall have power to do anything for another, and the decision that day will be holy with Allah. Ayola Habba. Account for your deeds and account for your souls before they are held accountable before your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And every one of us will taste death, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kullu nafsin da'ikatul mawt. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and every soul shall taste death. So which of us is ready for death? What have you prepared for death? And as the Salaf used to say, this life is a Dar al Amal. And the next life, Al Akhirah, Dar al Jaza. And the next life is the place of your reward for whatever you did, whether it was good or bad. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ikhlas, with thabat. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.